Hi, my name is Chris Melnick and I'm a realtor in Halifax, Nova Scotia. If you clicked on this video, you're probably interested in buying a luxury property in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Now I'll tell you about it. This video is basically to give you a lay of the land of what areas can have luxury homes and what to expect. Now I'm originally from Vancouver. So my perception of what a luxury home is, is largely based on those standards, which would be helpful to those who are accustomed to similar bigger city luxury home standards. I've also previously worked for a higher end builder and have a fairly comprehensive construction background. So I can spot real luxury features from a mile away. But before I begin, I will acknowledge the seemingly vast difference between what some people call luxury. Now, for example, some people would consider a Mercedes CLA luxury, but some wouldn't. And some would consider a Mercedes S-Class luxury, and some wouldn't even call that luxury either, but instead reserve that term for cars like Rolls-Royce and Bentley. So I'll be touching on these distinctions. I'll be using words like higher end to talk about homes on the lower end of the luxury spectrum and then luxury for the ones at the top of the spectrum. First, let's talk about areas. Luxury homes can be found in a number of different areas, but I've organized them on this chart. Although for the vast majority of these homes, I just consider them higher end. First, anything waterfront is going to be desirable and is more likely to be a luxury home. In the same way, homes that are closer to the city are going to be in a more desirable location and are more likely to be luxury homes. So for the best of the best, you're usually looking for the South End waterfront. There are homes there that are worth well over $5 million. Next, the non-waterfront South End is the key area for non-waterfront urban luxury homes. And really, the only urban luxury in Halifax. Then we have suburban waterfront. This includes Armdale, the Bedford Basin, Waverly, Fall River, Glen Arbor, Indigo Shores, Hubley, St. Margaret's Bay Area, Westwood Hills, and the Chester Peninsula. For non-waterfront suburban, these can be found in the non-waterfront areas of the neighborhoods I just mentioned, but also Stone Mount, Bedford, Kingswood, the West End, and Fairmont. Finally, for rural waterfront, luxury homes can be found pretty much around any coastline. This includes the major lakes like Porters and Grand Lake. And as you can see, there is a lot of coastline around Halifax. Then for the non-waterfront rural, this would include water view homes in the areas that I've just mentioned, but also once in a while you see what I consider estates, where luxury homes are built on giant pieces of land, seemingly in the middle of nowhere. And those are the areas. Now, for the vast majority of the luxury homes in those areas, I just consider them higher end. For the most part, those homes are just what you'd get if you went to a decent builder and asked for the standard build quality and chose a home bigger than 3,000 square feet and paid for the upgraded higher ceilings, stone counters, and maybe for better trim. For the most luxurious homes around Halifax, you'll be focusing on the South End waterfront and in and around the Chester Peninsula. Now, here are some hallmarks of what I'd consider potential features of a luxury home. First, it's a custom home and it's greater than 3,000 square feet. It's also in excellent condition. It has at least a double car and garage, has potentially double height ceilings in certain areas like the great room or front foyer, has real wood siding like cedar or Cape Cod, potentially cedar roof shingles or a copper roof, copper gutters, copper downspouts, decks made of cedar or composite with hidden fasteners, wood frame windows or tilt and turn windows, or commercial style floor to ceiling windows, or triple pane windows. Also skylights and accordion style door assemblies. It would also potentially have hardwood floors, especially specialty hardwood like Brazilian cherry. 
It would also have real stone tiles like marble or granite, real hardwood baseboards and casing, elaborate propane or natural gas fireplaces, propane or natural gas ranges, high-end kitchen appliance brands like Sub-Zero, Wolf, and Viking, frameless glass railings, in-ground pools and hot tubs, a ducted whole house heat pump, heated floors for the kitchen and bathrooms. And that's what I consider potential aspects of luxury homes. Now, higher-end homes may have five or six items on that list, but a real luxury home, in my opinion, should have 15 plus items on that list. And a real luxury home in Halifax starts at about $2 million and can be well past $10 million. There are very few that come up for sale, though. Whereas, a higher-end home could start at about $800,000, and there are lots of these for sale. So, if you'd like help buying a luxury home or a higher-end home, feel free to contact me. My contact information is in the description. Goodbye.